In this problem, I'm going to be showing Noodle the Pug's uh, quiz problems. Uh, I'm going to say what he did wrong, and then I'm going to show you the correct way of how to solve them. So the first problem is the series. Upper bound is infinity, lower bound is 10, so it's n starts at 10. It's a series of natural log of n squared over n. We're determining the convergence of this problem. So, noodle the pug, he converted it to a limit. So his limit as n approaches infinity, and then he put the, pro or put the, the series in there, natural log of n squared over n. Using Lo Patel's rule, as indicated right here, which is taking the derivative of the expression or limit, the limit of n as it goes to infinity, or is equal to limit as n goes to infinity, 2 natural log of n times 1 over n over n. When this is simplified, equal to the limit of n as it goes to infinity of 2 times the natural log of n over n. Once again, he used Lo Patel's rule, and it was and it's now equal to the limit of n as it goes to infinity of 2 times 1 over n over 1, which is just the equivalence to the limit of 2 over n, which the limit of that is equal to 0. And then he said, so the series of that start has the upper bound of infinity and starts at 10 of natural log of n squared over n converges by the limit test. Here's what he did wrong. He said it converged by the limit test. However, he used the divergence test. And the divergence test says that if the limit of n goes to infinity equals zero, then the series convergence cannot be determined. So here's the correct way to do this problem. Once again, I converted it to a limit as n goes to infinity. Uh, natural log of n squared over n using Lo Patel's rule, once again indicated right here, equals the limit of n as it goes to infinity of two natural log of n times 1 over n, all, all over n, which is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of 2 times the natural log of n over n. Once again, I will use Lo Patel's rule to solve this, which is equal to the limit of n as it goes to infinity, 2 divided by n over 1, which is equal to 2 over n. Sorry, I should indicate that this is a limit which then is equal to zero. However, no information about convergence or divergence can be concluded from this, from the divergence test. And that is how to properly solve this series right here. Here is the next problem, and first I'll be showing you how Noodle solved the problem. So the problem is 3 times the fifth root of n to the negative 2. Noodle said this is equal to 3 times n to the negative 2 to the 1 fifth, which is equal to 3 
n to the negative 2 fifths is then equal to 3 divided by n to the 2 fifths. And then he said, because this is considered p, he said that 2 fifths is less than or equal to 1. So 3 to the fifth root n to the negative 2 converges by the p test. So here's Noodle's work. Uh, he just rewrote this into this and then said that 2 fifths, which he claims to be p, is less than or equal to 1. So this then converges by the p test. However, this is what's wrong. The p test does not apply to this problem. Because this is just a limit. We're, it, excuse me. There is, um, it's not a series. So, he was determining the convergence of just a regular limit is what the question is asking, and he treated it as it was a series. So this is how I would solve it. Once again, I would simplify it to 3 times 1 over n squared for 1 I chose to get rid of the negative as soon as possible, just get rid of it completely and just make it so it was 1 over n squared to the 1 fifth is equal to n to the 2 fifths. And here is my reasoning for this. As n increases, the number gets whatever you plug in, so as n increases, the product of this gets closer to zero. Therefore, this right here, three, uh, n to the negative 2, excuse me, did not mean to write x there, n to the negative 2 of the fifth root converges to 0.